a student performs an experiment for determination of g okay <clears throat> and l is 1 meter and he commits an error of delta n for t he takes a time of n oscillation of the stopwatch of least count delta t and he commits a human error of 0 0.1 meter for which of the following data the measurement of g will be most accurate so g is 4 pi square L divided by T square. So therefore, uh, ln of G is going to be ln 4 pi square plus ln L minus 2 ln of T. So if we like, calculate the error by differentiating, so this is going to be, the differentiation of this is going to be 0. DL by L minus, because errors are additive, so therefore I am putting 2. Uh, plus dt by t <coughs> okay so uh, now let us calculate you know how things are going to happen <coughs> so the measurement of g will be most accurate in which okay so uh, like for t it, it takes the not time of n oscillations with the stopwatch of at least okay so for n oscillations it's t plus minus delta t so therefore for one oscillation it's going to be t by n plus minus delta t by n okay so uh, dt becomes delta t by n and t becomes t by n so therefore like uh, both are going to uh, like uh, cancel each other okay so dl by l plus 2 into delta t by t fine so now let us see which is going to be like uh, uh, most accurate so dl by l dl by l okay so it's 0 0.5 divided by 1 okay now delta t is this much so 2 into delta t by t so it's going to be 0 0.1 okay n actually hardly it matters so it's going to be most accurate so most accurate is actually if you see uh, it's uh, d number okay so if because n actually doesn't matter so just uh, we have to add 2 into delta l by l plus delta d by t okay it's 2 is here so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 it's 2, 0 0.2 over. But it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5, you know, everywhere is 0 0.5. So therefore, D option is correct.